Hey guys, welcome to another Edit Video Faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the difference between fixed and elastic keyframes in Avid Media Composer. So this uh, uh, fixed and elastic keyframes are pretty much for every effect in Media Composer. And uh, in our example here, I'm going to use 3D Warp, uh, and let me just show you what we have. Um, just a simple clip, a guy and a girl on a laptop, and I have them scaled to 50%, and they just move across the screen. And let's jump into effect mode. And our clip is about four seconds long, and I have a keyframe set at about one second in, and a keyframe set at about three seconds in to uh, into the clip. So let's just watch it real quick. That's the start of our move and the end of our move. All right, jump back into effect mode, oh, wrong button, there we go. Okay, so if we select both, um, if we select our keyframes and we right click any of them, if we go down, we can see that elastic is selected. This is by default for Media Composer. So what elastic means is that if I expand or contract the clip, uh, those keyframes are also going to expand or contract. So if, um, since we have our four second clip, if I expanded it to eight seconds, the keyframes at one and three will now go to two and six. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that right now. So into trim mode, and let's go out one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. And if we go back into effect mode, we can see that the distance between the keyframes stayed the exact same. Even though the clip essentially doubled in length, uh, the distance between the keyframes also doubled in length. So if we had an effect that we wanted at exactly two seconds long, uh, it's now at four seconds, which might not be what we want, which is why we're gonna use fixed keyframes in a moment. So let me just play this real quick so you can see And we can see that the animation now has gotten longer since we expanded the clip. All right, let's go back and trim this back to uh, three seconds or to four seconds. There we go. And back into effect mode. And we can see that our effects are back on at one and three seconds. Now let's right click and change, it, change them to fixed. Okay, so what fix does, fixed keyframes mean that they are stuck right there at one second and three seconds on this clip or, you know, anywhere that they're at on your clip. So when we roll this back out, back into trim mode, let's go another four seconds. So we doubled the length of the clip. And when we go back into effect mode, look at what happened. Our keyframes didn't move. They're still at one seconds in and three seconds in. So it's still the same two second animation that we had back in our original clip. And let me just show that to you. See, nice and fast, just like the first one. Even though the clip is still another, you know, five seconds long, our keyframes were still stuck at one and three seconds. So one more time, if uh, we go back into effect mode and we have our keyframes, when we right, oops, when we right click them, uh, we can select either fixed or elastic. And uh, we went through the difference between the two of them. Remember elastic, uh, they will expand with your clip. So if, you, if they're at a certain uh, distance apart from each other, let's say a second or two seconds, when you expand or contract your clip, your animation is also going to change. If you want it to stay the same, uh, change those to fixed. And so if you have your one second transition or you know whatever it is, uh, when you expand or contract your clip, uh, they'll stay at the same spot. So there's a lot more we can go into this and keyframes. And uh, if you wanna know more, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, and um, yeah, tons more over at the website, edit video faster. Dot com. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, leave it below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.